So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use the UCut video editing app for Android. And um, in this video, I'll be showing you guys all the basic things that you can do with the app. But um, if you guys want, then I uh, will create an advanced um, tutorial. Anyways, let's just begin. All right, so this is the app. And um, if you don't have it for some reason, I'll leave a link in the description so you can download it. So I'm going to launch it and then this is going to come up. So I'll tap on agree. All right, so that's the initial step you have to take and now you can start importing videos and editing them so to start you need to press this plus button down here the app is going to ask for permission to view your files like your videos pictures and audio files so you give it the permission to do that by tapping allow and then you're going to see a list of um, videos you have so for this i'm just going to import like three or four videos i'll tap on this one and videos of my trusted dogs because I don't know why I like dogs. So after selecting all the videos you want, if you're unsure of a video, you can press and hold it and you're going to see the video. So I'm just going to do that with my finger because I did it with the mouse. So I'm just going to press and you see the video is playing. So now that I'm sure of the video, I can release and yeah, I can head back to selecting videos. So I selected four of them and you can see them down here. So from here, you can decide the part of the video that you want to keep or remove. You can see this scissors icon down here, hopefully. So I'm just going to click on the video itself. And you see over here, it gives you this um, selection points. So let's say I don't like the beginning of the video. I can just drag this to where I want the video to start. And maybe I just want it to start from where I start tearing the paper up. So after that, I can tap on this to do that, but I don't want to. So I'm going to tap on this to exit. And these are the videos that I want to import. If I don't want any of them, I can just tap on this to remove the video. Let's say I don't want this one, I can tap on this to remove it. And if I want to change the order of the way they are, I can long press and then drag and drop. Long press, drag and drop. So that's how you select the initial videos you want to edit. So after that, I'll just tap on this button here. And now you can see the videos down here. If I, so I can use my thumb to scroll through the videos and I can zoom in and out. I can zoom out by pinching in. So if I zoom out, you can see all the videos that have been imported to the project. And um, if I want to zoom in on a video, I can you know, pinch out to zoom in. And that's how you zoom. And now you can see that the video is a bit longer and it's hard to see the rest of the other videos so i'll just leave it to the normal way and uh, yeah this is how it is so you have all these options over here and i'm going to explain most of them because some of them may be advanced and when i do the advanced tutorial i'll get to explain them after you import your videos now if you tap on the video you're going to get some options so I'm going to tap on the video to bring up the options. And if I don't want to use any of the options, I can either tap on the video again, or I can tap on this button down here. So let me just tap on the video. So the options are gone. Now these options are only going to apply to this video. And as you know, we have so many other videos on the timeline. So there's a picture of, uh, there's a video of this dog and uh, there's a video of this dog as well. And then the video of me tearing up a piece of paper. I'm going to explain why I did this video so you guys can understand later on. All right, so let's start with the options here. You see this video is not selected. If it was selected, you would get the orange um, borders around it. But since it's not selected, there are no borders around it. So you have the trim option. We have seen this one already, but I'll just tap on it again. And um, it's going to ask you to trim the video where the playhead is. So as you can see over here, there's a orange line here if i scroll through the video you see the orange line stays in the center per se it's just showing you where you are in the video so if i scroll all the way to the video of the dog you see now that uh, the orange line is also on the video of the dog so this is where you see what's down here what the orange line is telling you what you are basically seeing so this one is called the playhead if i haven't said it already now, if I press on the trim button again, this time it's going to be on the dog because that is where the orange line is, the playhead. So I'm moving to this one. If I press on trim, it's going to want me to trim this video. Now, if I play this video a bit, you see that um, for like 10 seconds, it's black and it's going to be boring to watch that. Let me just give it a play. 
so it's just going to stay black throughout so, and uh, we don't want that so you can use the trim option to remove this part there are other ways to do this as well but uh, let's just use the trim button and then i'm going to drag it until the black part is gone so now um, i'm done trimming the black part i just want to be precise so the black part ends at around 15.5 um, yes so i'll leave it at 15.6 and then i'll tap on this to confirm and as you can see the black part is gone so that's how the trimming button works you just trim out sections that you do not want there are other options up here you see the cut option you just select two parts that you want and then the part that is dark is going to be cut out of the video but i don't recommend using this method it may be a bit confusing for most people so i'll suggest not using it you also have the split and i'm going to explain this on a bit better over on the timeline not here so these are the options that you have but i'll suggest you always stick to this if you want to use the trimming option all right so next we have music now because i'm not connected to the internet oh i am so i think i'll just turn it off i like working offline i'm disconnected right now but um you get to see some audio files that are provided by the app now i'm not sure if these files are copyright free so i would not I don't know if you can use them for making YouTube videos, but um, you should have your own music. So you can tap on my music and it's going to show you all the songs that you have on your phone. If you have a song that is copyright free, you can just look for it from here. And uh, if you don't see it, you can click on open from and then it's going to ask you to go through your files to look for the music that you are trying to use. So that's how that one works. And then if you have like a video, a music video, and you just want the song from the video, you can click on extract audio and then, and then you tap on this and then you search for the song or the video that you want the audio extracted from. And once you do that, you can add it to the video. And then you have effects and all of these are just different types of sounds. I will talk about this maybe in the advanced tutorial, but uh, for now, that's how you get audio. Next, we have filters. So since I'm on this video right now, if I tap on filter, I think it's only going to affect this video. So this one is bright, brightens the video, neutral, it gives it this look. And there are different types. All these ones with the pro, they are to be paid for. So you have to pay to use all these filters. This one says pro, but this one doesn't. But if you try to use it, it's going to ask you to pay. See, so it's going to ask you, if not, you have to remove it. So anyone that starts with the pro, the group is not free you have to pay for it so you have all these other filters and uh, anyone you want you can use and then um, if you want to apply the filter on all other videos then you tap on this one but uh, if you don't want to then you only tap on this so this is the before this is the after so i'm going to tap on the back button and uh, as you can see the filter is still <laughs> applied to the video so what i can do is just press on this to undo what i just did so these are the undo and the redo buttons so they just help you you know avoid mistakes or if you want to redo something then you can tap on it all right the next is the effects if i tap on this there are so many effects that you can use like for this one you just need to tap and hold a particular effect and it's going to get applied to the video so i'm tapping and holding on it and this is it so you can see that it, it was only applied in the part of the video where i held the effect now if i scroll past this and then play it you see that the effect is not showing up but uh, when it gets here it starts showing so there are so many effects you can choose from and uh, let me just try this one monitor so it makes it green and uh, yeah that's how it works so if you don't want an effect you can tap on it and then you tap on this to delete it i'm also going to delete this one because i don't need the effect so the next is text, but I'm not going to talk about text in this video, maybe in the next one. So you can use a sticker to add stickers. You can also add pictures. So for this one, I can just use this sticker and uh, you can change the position. You can enlarge it, you can rotate it and all sorts of things. You can also delete it if you don't want it. So you can add pictures, um, but this is not the best way to add pictures, but I'm still going to show you. You can do that by clicking on sticker and then you tap on import photo and then you can select the picture you want to use for stickers 
But the only thing is that uh, if you import a picture, let me just do that. So if you import a picture, well, you won't have a lot of customizations for it. So I'm just going to check this now. The only options are to animate and adjust maybe opacity. And uh, basically that's all you can do. You can also split it, delete or duplicate it. There's not a lot of things you can do because to the app, this is a sticker, not a picture. So you don't want to import pictures this way. So I'm going to delete it. All right, so we have PIP, which means picture in picture. I'm not going to talk about this one for this video because it's like an advanced um, feature. So maybe in the next video, I'll talk about it. We also have speed. Speed is going to either increase the speed, like make it go fast or slow it down. Background, I can talk about this one. So let's say you want to upload videos for Instagram. You can use this one. So you see, it gives you the Instagram aspect ratio, which is one by one. And this is for Instagram Reels. This is for YouTube. This is what I normally use. And then this is for TikTok. If you want to create TikTok videos and edit them using the app, this is how you should do it. And then we have these other aspect ratios. Or well, these are the popular ones, so that's why they are um, giving these icons. So I'm going to go back to no frame. And then um, you also have colors. So if you want to use a different color in the background, uh, you can use black. So you see the background is black, and then there's red. I don't know if this is red or this. So if you don't want to use any color, then you can come here to BG. It's just going to take either the video itself and just blur it out. So this is the video. You can see it's in the background, but it will blur it. There are also other pictures that you can choose from, and you can import yours if you want. Let's say this one. So I can blur it, and yeah, that's the background for you. But usually it's better when you just use the this option. However, it depends on the kind of video you want to make. If it's a TikTok video, then you use this one and so on. All right, so next we have the record. This is just to record your own voice if you want to do a voiceover. This is for volume if you want to increase or decrease the volume of the video you are using. I'll head to when I start tearing the piece of paper and then you can hear it. I'll increase the, the volume and play it. And I'm going to reduce it. So uh, I'm sure you heard the difference, but I'm going to bring it back to 100. So that's how the volume works. And then the rotate is just going to rotate the video clockwise this way. Finally, you have the flip to so go horizontal, the horizontal flip. And then we have the crop which if you want to zoom into a specific area, then you can adjust this. And then you press on this and you can see it has been zoomed in, but I don't want it this way. So I'll tap on this back button to go back to how it used to be. Okay, so these are all the options that you have. All right, so when you tap on a video, you get more options. And then the first one is the trim option and we have already talked about that. And the next one is the split. So this is a good way to cut out parts that you do not need. So in the beginning of the video, I was just rotating the paper and uh, maybe you think that is not needed in your own video. You can just scroll to where you want the action to begin and then you tap on split. So you see the video is now splitted into two parts. So you can delete the parts that you do not need by tapping on delete. However, I'm going to leave it the way it is. So we have the speed. This is going to speed up the video. We have the volume as well. I've talked about that. Animation. So it's just going to talk about how the video begins. This part is for how the video begins, and then this part is for how the video ends. So if I start it with a fading, it's going to start like this. Because of the background that I left, that's why you can see that yellow um, background. But I'm going to remove it later. And also this one, this is another way to zoom in. And then this one as well. I think this one is a pro feature, so you have to pay for it. I have this one as well. So you have different options that you can choose from. So you select the one you need and then you go with it. So I'll just go with none and go back. So after animation, we have the crop. I've shown you guys the crop. The replace is if you want to replace this footage with another one. So you can go through your list of videos and replace it if you want. And then this is the one I want to show you this reverse. This is like an advanced feature, but um, <laughs> I want to show you guys why I actually made a video of myself tearing a piece of paper. So I'm sure you guys have seen videos on TikTok of people bringing out sugar from 
I don't know, T. So yeah, it's just how they did it. I want to show you guys how it works. So first, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. So this is the video of me tearing a piece of paper. I'm going to tap on copy to duplicate it. So now there are two videos of me tearing a piece of paper. And then if I tap on reverse, that is for the second one. If I tap on reverse, it's going to take some time to reverse the video. And then I'm going to show you guys the magic, so to say. So I'll be back when it's done reversing. Okay, so it is done reversing. And um, towards the end of the video, I just stood there, you know, not even doing anything. So I'm going to cut out that part because it's not necessary. So from here, I can just tap on split. And now the video is in two places, so I can delete this part. So if I wanted to delete this part, I'll select it. But since this is the part I want to delete, I'll select it and press delete. So now I'm going to play the video from the beginning so that you guys can see the TikTok magic that they keep talking about. Okay, so other options that we have besides reversing, I've already shown you what copy will do it. We just duplicate the video that you have selected. So if I wanted to duplicate this one, just tap on it and then I'll tap copy and it will duplicate it. I can undo because I don't like that. And then finally, we have the rotate, which is just the same thing that we saw earlier. But this time it's only affecting one video okay so the next thing and final part of this video is going to be about transitions so you can see that uh, when one video is done playing and um, the next video is going to start playing it just jumps to the next video see there is no way of showing that another video is coming in it just jumps so you see this button over here you can tap on it and then you're going to get some transitions that you can use so there are lots of them and there are pro ones as well that you have to pay for. So let me just use the, uh, let's try this one, fade B, fade to black. So select it and then you can increase how long you want the transition to last. So let's say I want it to last for two seconds. So I'll tap on that and now it's changed its icon to show you that the transition has been applied. And um, if I play the video now, you see how it changes to the next video. So that's how the transition works. Well, I almost forgot to put this part in, but um, when you're done editing your video and you want to save it to your phone so that you can upload on YouTube or wherever, you tap on save, and then you select the resolution and the frame rate. So, well, most of the videos today are in 1080p, so you want to keep it at 1080p. If you want it, you can be up to 4K by sliding this to 4K, but I'll suggest you stay at where the app recommends or well if you want it to be 4k you can increase it as well and um, frame rates I would say keep it at 30 frames which is 30 fps and then you can leave the quality to high and then you tap on save and you give the app some time to you know get the videos together and then you are going to see it saved in your gallery so yeah hopefully I won't forget anything else all right so I'll be seeing you guys in the next video take care and bye bye